Jesse DBS. What's up, Yup Gang? It's your boy Taxon, and welcome back to Yup DBSCD Things. And today we're bringing another very exciting deck profile, guys. It's going to be a deck that I seen prowling around my locals, and I was like, man, that is spicy. You gotta let me get the list. So, with that being said, guys, this is Freeza Swap. But before we get into it, guys, I do want to say if you guys want any custom mats and or sleeves, absolutely check out Pro Mats, guys. This is the best place to go get your custom card needs. Links in the description below and also on the screen. Now you can see that they are holding a monthly tournament via Discord at the second weekend of every single month with some great prizing here. You can come win some Pro Mat mats, TCG model leaders, and also some booster boxes. So if this is something you're interested in, use the links in the description below to go to this Discord and join it. With that being said, guys, if you guys enjoyed this list or my content in general, remember to hit all those buttons for me, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video. And with that being said, guys, let's spin it around and dive in. Alrighty, you guys, here is the Frieza list, the random spicy list that I just decided to grab because I seen it prowling around the local and I was like, man, I am interested. Let me see the list. So here it is. Go ahead and tell us about your deck and your matchups. I personally believe it's about as spicy as Aquafina to white people, but I digress. So anyway, uh, <laughs> this is the set nine <laughs> Red Frieza. Taxon's walking away. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I really enjoy the Freeze of Plan stuff, which is why I played this today, and I played it a couple weeks ago, too. Uh, they gave a new promo to it, uh, so I wanted to try to make something with it work, even though I'm not running a full play set of it, but it is still something. Anyway, uh, activate man once per turn, top three for red blue, red or blue Freeze of Clan card. Uh, then you put the other two to the bottom. You can look up to three, but yeah, whatever. Awaken four or less. Uh, untap one, draw one. You flip into this guy. He has an auto to attack when he draws, and then an activate battle to pay a red to give one of your Frieza, car Frieza clan cards a critical, which is really good because a lot of your big attacks in this deck are double and triple strike, so just whacking those down is really good. Yeah, and it's activate battle, so that's always yep. very nice to know. Much you better than activate main. do that before you get negated. If you, ha if you had to do that, I would not use this leader. But because it's an activate battle, it makes it a lot more worth it. But yeah, anyway, uh, this is the second time recording this. I'm going to start off with this because it actually matters more early than deck. Uh, so two Frieza Spaceship. Uh, this is arguably one of the most important cards of the deck. Uh, second to the card that brings it out. But it's a field, field spell and has an auto at the end of your turn. You can play a two-cost Frieza Army card from your hand and then draw a card if you play it. So this card is really good for just building a big board and then keeping your hand up. Uh, with one of the other cards, it's basically a plus one when it plays, and it's, it's stupid strong. This card is really good, and the new promo that came out last tournament pack really made this card busted. So uh, let's talk about the new promo first, though. So this is the uh, new one-drop promo Frieza. Uh, it has swap two to go on your two-cost Frieza's, and it has a counterattack to negate the attack, play them in rest mode. So because it has swap two, this is actually a recurring negate. You can keep adding it back to your hand with swap without having to actually uh, bring another two costs out if you don't want to. But yeah, if your opponent doesn't deal with it, this card is possibly really annoying. Like, it's kind of nutty. But I only run two of it because you really don't need more than that in this deck. Yeah, I don't really focus. It always goes back to your hands. Yeah. Once you see one, you got it for the game. Yep, and I don't focus on my one drop. I, I don't run the other one drop swap Frieza because the spaceship is just so much Starts better. Starts you off on the, on the two and then goes straight to three. You don't even yeah. It skips you all stuff. Yep, it's just much better. Uh, three copies of Frieza Mutable Menace. Uh, this card is also very important because it lets you go into your five drop Frieza for one blue energy as long as you have a three drop out. But anyway, it has an activate main, uh, pay a red, you send him to the drop and play a three cost Frieza. You really don't use that too often, or at least I don't. But the more important ability is the activate main for blue, warp it in a three cost and play uh, while this is in the drop and you bring out the five drop Frieza from your hand. So it's a really cheap way to bring out your big boy and it's a really, really good card. I re always recommend this for any Frieza swap deck. Next, uh, we're going to go into Clan Commander Frieza, also known as KFC Frieza, don't ask. Uh, as an auto when he's played to search top five for a red-blue Frieza clan card, and just add it to your hand. This in uh, tandem with Spaceship. Uh, Spaceship, when he plays, you draw a card, and then his auto activates, so that's where the plus one comes from. And you keep bouncing this back to your hand, even though it doesn't have swap, there's another card that'll just keep bouncing it, so you can constantly just keep getting the value from it. It's really, really good one of the better cards they printed for the deck. Next, we got four Evolutionary Process Frieza. This is more so just because you can go into the three drop Frieza if you need to, 
but otherwise it's a 15k attacker you can play off spaceship uh, during your opponent's turn it loses 5k power but that's kind of irrelevant uh, it's just a it's just another thing to play off spaceship next uh, we got four mecha frieza anti-energy exhaust card uh, you get energy exhaust when you already have a red blue in play which is nice and it has an auto you can play this off the spaceship as well uh, and it has an auto when it's played it negs something five which is nice and i think it, i believe it can hit leader as well if i'm not mistaken yeah choose a leader or battle card and it gets minus five for the duration of the battle that's important it's only during the battle but it's still a it, it's an option to play usually you won't be playing it though it's just for the energy exhaust but it's pretty nice because that's when it attacks. So any turn that it's on field, yeah. you get that attack. Yeah, sorry, it is when it attacks. Wipes five yeah. yeah, so it's BMS is nice. won't live against that thing, basically. Yeah. Exactly. Here's hoping we never see BMS, though, because I will cry. Right. But uh, now we got two copies of Freeze of Storm and Blows. Uh, I think two is the right number for this, just because you usually go into the other blue Frieza. But otherwise, it has Barrier, which is really nice. You can establish that and wait to play your big boy for a little while. And it has not only it's played, you can choose something 20k or less and KO it. So it's really nice. It gives it a spot removal. Yep. And pay two to swap into the five drop if you need to. So it's a really good card. But I wouldn't run any more than that. This guy, though, I love him so much. I run him before. Uh, Frieza Unending Onslaught. He has an Activate Battle. It's kind of a pseudo swap that you can do on either player's turn uh, to pick one up, pick one of your Frieza clans up and put him down. And then he also has an auto to discard a card and add a Frieza Army or Frieza Clan card from your drop to your hand. So you can get your five drops back and establish your uh, mutable menaces and drop it as well. This card is massively important. You can also use it. I run uh, the five drop cooler. You can also use it to recur that. So it is a really, really good card. Uh, I'm running two Frieza No Introductions. I don't think it's necessarily the most important thing, but I wanted another way to get into the five drop if I needed it. Plus, it's a negate. Uh, as a permanent, uh, it lowers its cost by two during your opponent's turn, and then you can pay three, two red and a blue, in order to get into the five drop Frieza. So it's just another it's another negate, and it's an option to get into the five drop. You most of the time won't be using it for that if you're things are going your way, but it's always good with this deck to have the options because sometimes you can't find the right pieces. Uh, having ways like this to cheat it, sort of cheat it out, is really good. Now, speaking of the legendary 5-drop that I love so much that I only have three SPRs because my luck hates me, uh, Frieza, full power Frieza, 100% overdrive. Uh, this card is amazing as triple strike and auto when he attacks choose everything ignoring barrier on the opponent's side and minus it by 30k excluding tokens e excluding tokens because uh you know that android 21 deck was just a little too strong i guess 1821 a, a bunch of and bunch of number droids doesn't matter but yeah so you can't hit tokens with it and then anytime something gets uh minus on your opponent's side of the field, any of their battle cards, they have to mill two cards. So this can theoretically just win a game by swinging on its own, just because if they have a bunch of battle cards, there goes 20 cards out of their deck. Oh, well, goodbye. So yeah, this is the main boss monster. Munster, yes. Uh, and, yes. And you can use the activate main on your, activate battle on your leader to give it critical. So triple crit is very, very scary. And like you said, most of the time, so you're getting him out there for like two energy investment. Yep, and that is beautiful. Which definitely gives you some space to play with energy on that activate battle. Yep. Uh, in this version of the deck, I'm running four of the cooler. So double strike, arrival for red, blue, and just one run, one red energy to bring out. And when he's played, uh, minus two things, 10k, ignoring barrier, and make your opponent mill one. So it's just a really good card that can mess your opponent up during their turn. And again, otherwise, it's a 20k double strike, possibly a double crit if your leader hits it. So... Uh, I was trying it out with this because there's another leader, the Metamorphic Threat leader, that I also... I go back and forth between these leaders all the time. If you run the cooler stuff, you play this leader. If you run the Frieza, only the Frieza Army stuff and you don't have cooler, you run the other leader. Because that one gets, helps get you hand advantage better and it also has a bit more survivability. But in this case, uh, if you're running cooler, use this. Just so that way you can search it. Just makes it pretty nice. Next, uh, this is probably the most important card in the deck. Um, I'd say it is, actually. Uh, the promo Dodoria. So it has an auto when he's played. If you have two or more energy, you discard a card, and you can play Spaceship from your deck, 
which is why I only run two spaceship. However, I have, <laughs> I have scared myself several times when one's in life and I go through my deck and it's not until the very last card that I finally find it. Right. Uh, if you have both in your life, I'm so sorry. But yeah, it brings it out. So it's a one energy way to bring out spaceship, which is huge. As an, the auto doesn't matter with this leader. If you're using the other leader, uh, if you KO him with the leader skill, you pay a red and you can bring out the five drop uh, Frieza from Clash of Fates. Uh, that card <laughs> is kind of crap nowadays. It has some niche things it can do because it's kind of like a once per turn cold bloodlust, but only on the first thing they play and you have to crit a life to do it. So it's not really the most worthwhile thing, but it's something you could do if you want to use the other leader. It's very important though because it gets your spaceship. Uh, my homies, Juni and Taxon, hooked me up with uh, these Vegetas. Uh, these were actually pretty clutch. Uh, it helped me in my game one, even though I lost, unfortunately. But uh, in my third game, third round, it was also really helpful, though, because they used the Android 14 negate, and I just bottom decked it instead of it being played, so I could keep attacking that turn. But yeah, as a counterplay, play it, and if the battle card has 20k power or less, it goes to the bottom deck instead. Uh, and it's really nice about this is it negates his own energy exhaust if your opponent is tapped out. So if you're going second and your opponent goes first and plays something, you can just charge this right off the bat and it's up and ready. It's really nice. He also gains 3,000 power per energy, so you can use him as an attacker if you get him out. But that's the counterplay and the negating energy exhaust are the biggest reasons why I run this. This card is very good. I was very happy with it today. Uh, to go with our lovely coolers, we got four beers, super combo. Uh, it's untap a red blue during your opponent's turn and a rival cooler. That's the entire point of it. Uh, honestly, I was kind of wishing I had a draw super combo, but I also just did not seem to see my super combos much today, which is unfortunate. But except for the game that you didn't see your coolers. Yeah. Uh, well, the final game though, this it clutched me though because it helped me mill my opponent five, which is all they had left in deck when I played cooler. So, uh, yeah, this if you play cooler, you probably play this card. Very good card. Uh, Secret rare Vegeta. Need I say more? You're running a red deck. Why aren't you running Vegeta? Because it can just win you the game. Uh, I, I don't feel like I need to say much about that. It's just a win card. That's your that's your W. Yep. Uh, which uh, still didn't help me out in the first round, actually. I'm thinking about it, and I didn't see, this, I didn't see it the other one. Four Senzu Beans, red-blue deck, uh, helps you with survivability. I don't run any of the actual Flood Negates besides Violent Rays, so this is sort of a pseudo-Flood Negate if my opponent's playing a bunch of 15Ks because Gamma 1 and 2 likes its little weeny swings before it goes into the bigger swings. So very, very nice card. Yeah. You run blue, you probably run Bean. Enough said. Especially when you're doing things in the arrival step or in yep. the battle step like a rival. Yep. Uh, three violent rays uh, because you're running red and you need to make sure you don't die too fast. Yeah, I didn't know you were giving me violent rays there. Thank you. Oh, yeah. That's a very fancy art there. Uh, it's a very good card. Anything 20 k less battle or unison you get to choose can't attack for the turn, so it's a great stopper. And the final two cards are testing the opposition. Uh, it's just a great card. If your opponent's trying to stall out your awakening and maybe pick at your battle cards or something, you can use it to awaken, and then you get a blocker token. Very good card. That's really all there is to it. And I mean, that's the deck. All right, if you want to talk about any of your matchups. Well, first round was against uh, the lovingly named Shit Coup or Maximum Gains Coup, depending on your uh, persuasion. My friend's looking at me very angrily. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, yeah, uh, this guy. Uh, it came down to I didn't see my super combos, I didn't see my cooler, I feel, and I I couldn't get much going. And even when I secret rared, it wasn't enough, I don't think, because just the things did not go very well for me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that ended up taking the W against me. Uh, I had to buy the second round, unfortunately. Uh, third round was against Gamma 1 and 2. That was very, very close. Uh, what ended up happening and what led me win the game is I had my big boy established. Uh, he, was sitting on, he was sitting on board. Uh, when he went to attack with battle cards, uh, I used beer super combo to untap an energy uh, rival cooler. Uh, minus two of his battle cards. So he had to mill one off of cooler skill. And then Frieza made him mill two per. So he milled five cards and he decked out. It was a very, very close game, and it was a lot of fun. Absolutely. Alrighty, so with that being said, that is your deck. Do you have any final shout-outs? 
Uh, shout out to you guys. Uh, shout out to homie Winter today for showing up, even though he didn't want to. Yep, went uh, undefeated on a day he didn't even show, want to show up. Yep, <laughs> he's a legend. Uh, and yeah, and then let, thank you for letting the worst player show off. Uh, uh, show off shop. Frieza? Yeah, more stupidity by me. Alrighty, you guys. With that being said, that was the Frieza deck list. If you guys enjoyed this list, remember to hit all those buttons for me. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video. And with that being said, we will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.